Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make a small hydroponic kit that you can grow lettuce, even spinach, peppers, uh, I've done kale as well. Uh, many people have asked where I've got these containers and these are just baby formula container and I got these from my friend that have kids. So there's different types of containers you can use. These are a few if you, if you have anybody that have kids uh, or if you know anyone ask them to save these for you or if you don't have a way to get these containers then you can use these. I was at a grocery store the other day and I saw this really neat little container. It's a gallon so it's a very good size to grow one plant. These are clear so what you're gonna have to do is spray paint. So I have this spray paint laying around so it doesn't cost me anything but this container here is about probably three dollars and the spray paint I don't know how much it's cost I forgot I just have it in the house today I will show you how to make one of this first what you want to do is figure out what size net cup you want to use so there's multiple different sizes this is a three inch and this is a I think it's a one and a half that fit perfectly here on top or this I like to use the smaller one because uh, the rock wool cube that I use to start seedlings fit perfectly right into here. What you want to do is place the net cup on here, trace around with a marker so that you can see where the center of the cup is. But this container is different because it has the center there already. You don't have to do anything else. Then you need a drill. You need a drill bit that is the same size as this. So you want to place the drill onto the center there. You want it to go forward into it until it creates a hole like that. Now you want to do reverse and drill the other way. Going backward is much easier and it's also going to give you a smoother cut. There you go. Now that's a perfect center there and the cup will fit right on top just like this. Next what we're gonna do is we're going to paint this and before I paint this I want to leave a little gap so that I can monitor my water level just because I want to so you want to take some tape and pick a spot somewhere and tape there so when you paint the spot will still be clear but let me pause the video and I'll show you how it's done. Alright so I measured out where I want to put this tape. The net cup ends around right here. In this method you really don't want the water to go above the net cup so this is just where you need to tape it so that you know that the level, the water level right here is where the net cup would be and down here is probably where you always want to keep your water level no more than this and this is how you monitor it so I'm gonna spray paint this all black and then I'll let you see what it looks like when I'm done. So here we are. The bottle, the container has been all painted black and it is time to remove that tape. It's really dry now so I left it out for a while. You want to leave this overnight so that it can dry completely before you peel this off. The tape is right here. We're just going to peel this area off. It doesn't have to be perfect, so some paint went right through the tape, but that's fine. You don't need to see too much of the water level, because too much of these gap will cause algae to grow as well, so you want as small space as possible. So that should be good enough. Now the next and final thing to do is to transplant what you're going to grow into here. So I've started some seedlings already. These are salad bowl lettuce that Jim gave me. I'll show you how to start this. but. Here it is. It's about a day or maybe two days now. Nothing happened yet, but I started two days ago. I'll let this grow for about two weeks before I put that into this container. Here's what you do. You take a spoon or anything you want. Just create a nice hole there because sometimes the holes are not very well drilled. And you can start two and if both of those sprouted then you can just prune one out keep the best one and here are the seeds right there they're, they're very very small so it's it's hard to pick them up so what I like I would do is uh, 
have this little container with water here and you can just use the tip of the of the spoon or any kind of utensil you have just dip it in here like that and then you can pick up the seeds that way it's very very easy see that it sticks right to the spoon so you can just put two in each alright it's been a little bit over two weeks now and my seedlings are ready so these uh, salad bowl lettuce grew a little bit slower than I expected today it, it's gotten to this size and if you look to the bottom there are roots right there so as soon as you can see this amount of roots they are pretty much ready to transplant into your container here's my net cup so what we'll do first is we're going to pour nutrients into here and uh, we're going to use this as a guide to see where the nutrients will be what I want is for the water to touch the bottom of my net cup before I put my plant into the net cup I'll pour nutrients into there. What I'm using is the Master Blend for 1838. I'll, I'll put all the mixing instructions in the description so you can check it out there. Let's make this easier by taking this apart so it's easy to pour. I mix my nutrients one gallon at a time so I'm gonna pour that into here. And now you can put your net cup back on and see where the nutrients is going to be then. So what I'll do is I'll pour some more until it hit the bottom. So that's about touched my net cup there. And then I'll take my seedling and I'll just place it right into there. Push it down a little so it can make contact with the water. And that's pretty much all you have to do. I would recommend putting some pebbles here so that it can prevent algae from growing but other than that you just have just gonna sit back and watch it grow that's pretty much all you have to do so uh, I'll keep this progress going and record and log the growth uh, every two weeks and here is what the plants look like with the pebbles all placed around there and this is a one gallon there should be plenty of nutrients to feed the plants all the way through the cycle I went ahead and drilled a hole there just in case I need to refill or if I want to then I can use this little funnel here it fits perfectly on top and I'll just pour my nutrients in through there or you can just lift this up too but I think this is more convenient for me so that's that's what I'll do or I, I was planning on using this uh, container for other plants as well so that's why I drilled it there anyway here's my spinach This is the other spinach. This is in a vitamin container. And as you can see, there is a the side here where you can see the water level. And it was creating a lot of algae because uh, it's very transparent. So I took this little piece here and covered that up. And so that, that helped a bit. Alright, today is one week after the initial transplant into this system. And the lettuce is growing very nicely. It's gotten much bigger than when we first placed it in here. And then, and there's some roots right there. So it's starting to develop much longer roots into the nutrients. So this is going to start taking off very, very quickly. Today is June 6th and it has been exactly two weeks since I placed the lettuce into this container and look at the growth on this plant it's growing very very nicely very good size and then the nutrients has not been drained too much it's about this level so we still have a ton of water left all the way down to here that should be enough for the plants to grow into its full cycle today is June 15th and it has been a little bit over three weeks since we placed the lettuce into this container so the total time took about five weeks for the lettuce to get to this size. The water is down to about half. And you can still leave this and it will continue to grow. But this is all we'll do for the experiment. 
Uh, I'm gonna start cutting the lettuce off to, to eat but as you can see growing this is very simple you can just use any container you like a gallon of water is enough for the lettuce to grow through the entire cycle so this is a very easy method to use especially if you have very limited space indoor so you can have two or three of these next to each other and space them out in between it takes about four to five weeks for the lettuce to be ready from start from seedling all the way to the time it's ready to harvest so if you want a continuous cycle you can space it out every two weeks that way you have lettuce all the time all right that is pretty much all i hope you guys like the video if you have any questions or comments be sure to let me know and thank you for watching.